This time on Surgery and Spotlight, I wanted to introduce one of the predecessors to everyone's favourite little blue tank engine. This is Tidmouth, Knapford and Farquhar Railway, number 5. First, a little bit of history about the TKNF. With origins dating back to the horse-drawn tramway between Knapford and Ellsbridge, opened in 1859, the Farquhar branch is one of the oldest railways on the island. Steam power arrived on the line in the form of a head rights and vertical boiler 040 locomotive in 1873. The locals were so impressed by its haulage capacity compared to the horses that the young engineer, Stephen Hatt, constructed three more locos reverse engineered from the original, which he also rebuilt. The first of these entered service in 1881. Principal income came from the lead mines at Torirek, and the sight of one of the little locos, known as Stubbins, after the Manx cats with short tails, trundling down to the harbour with a string of children wagons in tow became a common sight. At Ellsbridge Wharf, stone from Tobias Crawry's quarries at Farquhar was transshipped from river boats, as well as wool from the surrounding farms. This double handling was slow, and as such, a new route to Farquhar was surveyed in 1883. Mr Crawry, a local landowner, agreed to finance half the construction of the extension, as well as provide stone for the tunnel and bridge needed. At the other end of the line, there was a new company in town. The Wellsworth and Suddery Railway had arrived in Knapford in 1884 in order to use the harbour, Suddery and Brendam now being silted up and inadequate for larger vessels. As part of the access agreement, the WNS was to provide passenger services on the new Knapford and Farquhar Railway for 20 years. Ellsbridge Station opened that year, followed by Farquhar in 1887. Since the extension, the line's four locos had been taxed to their limit on the heavy stone trains coming down to the port at Knapford, and while the neighbouring WNSR was providing passenger services as part of their access deal to Knapford Harbour, this often resulted in empty stone wagons being attached to passenger trains in the uphill direction, the TKNF's little engines were wearing out. On the other side of the island, the Sodor and Mainland Railway forged a deal with the neighbouring Furnace Railway to provide motive power, and in 1891 sold their dubs 060 number 4 to the KNF, becoming their number 5. This allowed the prompt withdrawal of KNF number 3, which disappeared into the workshop and was dismantled to provide spares for the other three vertical boiler locos. Number 5's strength and power allowed the Stubbins to be located solely at the harbour and quarry on shunting duties. In 1893, a joint project between the KNF, WNSR, and the Benjamin Quail China Clay Company saw the main line extended to Tidmouth via a new tunnel. The KNF and WNSR shared running powers to the new Tidmouth station, and thus the KNF became the TKNF. 1904 saw the end of the WNSR, now the West Sodor Railway, contract to supply passenger services, and though an extension of the deal was made for three years, the need for another local was apparent. With no suitable second-hand locos available, management authorised the purchase of a new machine. But that's a surgery in spotlight for another day. TKNF No. 5 was absorbed into the North Western Railway at the grouping. This loco is a real bash. The chassis is from an Electrotren 060 sold by Hornby. The cab is from a Hornby or Dapol Pug. The tank's running plate, smoke box, dome and safety valves are all cut out of the good old Hornby 101. And the boiler is actually made from a marker pen with an extra sheet of plaster card wrapped around it to give the impression of a wagon top firebox. Originally this loco was built as a 240, but the chassis was very unsatisfactory, so I replaced it with a much more reliable 060 chassis. All of the TK and F locos are fitted with air brakes, and this is an important detail, as you've already seen 106 Perseus is also fitted with air brakes, and so will the other locos working on the Farquhar line. Shown here with TKNF number 5 is one of the brake vans used on the Farquhar branch. This is a Smallbrook Studios kit for an LSWR brake van. It's a resin kit, it was really easy to build and I highly recommend them. The TKNF locos are always in a striking red livery and the good stock appears in grey and black. As with all things, nothing's ever finished. I need to patch up a few bits of damage on this loco evident under the boiler, maybe touching a few bits of paint. One day I might convert it to radio control as well. I hope you've enjoyed this little freelance engine. Hopefully it lays some groundwork to introduce everyone's favourite little blue tank engine who we should be seeing in a future Sudbury and Spotlight episode. If you like what you see, please subscribe and leave a like. Don't forget to click the notifications bell so that you know when new episodes are coming out. I'm hoping to keep things fairly regularly updated over the next few months. Once again, thanks very much for your support. I hope you've enjoyed it and see you next time.